In 2008, something weird happened in college football. And as was a lot of the BCS era, it was very, very, very confusing and stupid. Where to start? I know. At the beginning of the 2008 college football season, the three teams we will be following were ranked as follows. Oklahoma number 4, Texas number 11, Texas Tech number 12. All good teams, all in the same conference, all in the same division. See the problem here? There are three matchups we need to focus on that will decide this division. Week 7 Texas vs. Oklahoma Red River rivalry game. The Week 10 battle for the Chancellor Spurs, that's Texas at Texas Tech. And finally, in Week 13, Texas Tech at Oklahoma. Let's jump ahead to the first matchup, Texas vs. Oklahoma. This was big. Texas was ranked number 5, but Oklahoma was ranked even higher at number 1. They were ranked number 1 because USC had lost to Oregon State a few weeks prior. This game was amazing. Oklahoma jumped out to a quick 14-3 lead, but then Jordan Shipley called his own number. The ball on the tee for the Sooners. Return from the five-yard line is Shipley. Big hole! Shipley! End zone ahead, folks! Touchdown, Longhorns! There is one flaw with this Oklahoma team, and it is their special teams. With that momentum, the Longhorns would make it a close game before Sam Bradford threw his fifth touchdown pass of the game. Bradford on the roll. There's a penalty flag down, caught by Johnson for a touchdown, but there is a penalty flag. There's a penalty on this play. The offsides. The Texas. Oklahoma coaches are signaling we're going for two, so are they saying it was against Texas? A Cody Johnson one yard TD run put the Horns up by three. Johnson right straight ahead for the touchdown. Sam Bradford then threw a third down incompletion, and for some reason, Oklahoma decided to punt. After one of the most BM play calls I have ever seen in my life, Johnson scored again. Now the big fellow set down as a blocker. Johnson to the end zone, touchdown! And the Texas Longhorns had won the 2008 Red River rivalry game. And the Red River rivalry comes up Texas and Colt McCoy. 45-35. Next up was week 10, Texas Tech vs. Texas. The Longhorns had been ranked number one ever since week five, which is impressive since they were coming off three straight games against a top 15 team. The Red Raiders, on the other hand, are looking for a real statement win to improve their chances in the BCS system. They only have one win against a ranked team. That was Kansas, and it was their last game before this one. They looked to have that statement win in hand as they quickly jumped out to a 19-zip lead. But Texas brought it to 22-6 before halftime. And even though they gave up a pick six to Daniel Charbonnet, steps up, intercepted, picked off by Charbonnet, and Charbonnet scores. They eventually brought the game within three. The crowd alive and love it. He's got a man open. Got him. And in a foot race is Williams pulling away. They won't catch him. Touchdown, Texas. 91 yards. Then Tech kicked a field goal. And then Texas's Vondrell McGee ran in a four-yard touchdown pass that put Texas up 33-32 in the waning seconds of the fourth quarter. McGee checks in as the running back. Gets the call, end zone, touchdown! 
an extra point away from coming back in dramatic fashion to take a lead with 129 remaining. But Tech drove down the field to the Texas 28 where this happened. Big play. Can't take a sack. Deflected, intercepted, Texas. No, they rule it down, incomplete. I thought for sure that he had deflected it to Gideon. And then on the very next play, this happened. Still one timeout left here for Texas Tech. Eight seconds. Second down now. Deep strike. Man, Crabtree pulls free. And touchdown, Red Raiders with a second to go. Fans stormed the field with a second left, but it didn't matter, and Texas was no longer undefeated. Now on to week 13, where the number two ranked Red Raiders are on the road against number five ranked Oklahoma. This was it, folks. This was the big game. This was the most important game, arguably, in the history of Texas Tech. They had a real shot here of making the Big 12 championship, and if they won that, they would likely be in the national championship. Well, okay, Tech, good lord, I didn't realize we weren't showing up for our ranked games. So yeah, it wasn't even close, and closing in on the final matchup for each team, Tech played against Baylor and won that game 35-28. Texas defeated Texas A&M in the Lone Star Showdown 49-9, and Oklahoma defeated number 11 Oklahoma State on the road 61-41. But that was problematic because that meant all three teams finished with a 7-1 record in the conference, and the same record out of conference. All three were 1-1 one one against the other two, which meant the first four tiebreakers didn't work. The fifth tiebreaker was the team with the highest BCS ranking. One problem, the rankings were the ones that came out on November 30th, the day after all of these games, and three days after the Texas game. The rankings were mainly based via coaches, journalists, and computers. In a sense, they were basically deciding who would go to the Big 12 championship. And the winner was, drum roll please, Oklahoma, where the wind comes sweeping down the plain. Boo! That's right, the team that lost to Texas made it in over Texas. And then Oklahoma absolutely dunked on Missouri 62-21 in the Big 12 championship game. And then themselves got dunked on in the BCS national championship game.